Hello everybody, welcome to the finale of Sam and Max Season 1. Which is why every citizen will find a complimentary government-issued aerosol can waiting in the mailbox. Uh -huh. Get the spray in America! Let's heat this mother up! Okay. Sam? This has been an announcement from the President of the United States. What gives, Sam? You missed your cue! What? Yeah. Oh, sorry, little buddy in chief. I'm still thinking about our last case. The internet said it was working for somebody named Roy G. Bim. Yeah. Obviously a pseudonym, but for who? Or well, who? I know the answer, Sam, but they mind don't. Readers. Hey, maybe we should ask you Bliss! Mind readers, that's it! No, that's not it. By the way, have you seen my copy of Emetics, the Handbook for Multicolored Happiness by Hugh Bliss? Colors. No. Think, Max, think. Well, I know I had it this morning. Oh, that, That's Max. It. Morning. In the ancient tongue of the mud-worshipping Kapalahotek tribe of the Serengeti, our word morning means he who destroys the hypnotic rainbow man. That's the word he fears the most. So this Roy G. Bibb is the one person we've met who's never said the word morning. And that means it's... Yes. It's the commissioner. The commissioner? Oh, no. I never did trust him. No, Chowderhead. It's Hugh Bliss. Yes, yeah. this is what I was yeah. trying oh, to no, say. Commissioner, I didn't mean... Look, I need you to put out an APB on Hugh Bliss. Stat. By the Greek goddess Selene in a chariot with dual overhead cams and silver fox mud flaps. We're on our way. Let's go, Max. The commissioner said that Hugh Bliss is currently staying at his exclusive prismatology retreat. The blister of tranquility. Oh boy, I bet it's somewhere really cool and exotic, like a remote island in the South Pacific or Des Moines. Even farther, pal. We're going to the moon. Oh, snap. Where? Okay. So our true enemy is Hugh Bliss. I knew I didn't trust that guy. Okay. Okay. Bright side of the moon. Oh, feels good to be back on the moon, doesn't it? We made good time, too. We've still got plenty of generic brand powdered orange flavored drink mix left. Uh -huh. You always did know how not to infringe on a registered trademark, little buddy. What are we doing first, Sam? Let's locate the blister of tranquility, find out what you bliss is up to, and arrest his unprincipled magical butt. Yeah. Is that a visitor center? Hmm, could be. That mole looks familiar. He looks like the mole from Enzo 3. The villain is mole. Anyway, let's check this. What's this? Looks like a bent spoon with some peanut butter on it. The power to bend and rebend spoons stored within this completely indestructible magical talisman was among the first mental abilities to be developed and popularized by Hugh Bliss. Ah. Good deal. I can bend spoons with my bare hands. One question. Would it work on wrenches? Hmm, yeah, the wrench is close enough. Ah. Interesting, interesting. Ah, you made me forget where I was. Let's see, uh, indestructible magical intelligence. Oh, yeah. The virtually indestructible display case is a triumph of modern prismatological science. Virtually indestructible? Ah. Extensive testing has been done on the case, showing it to be impervious to bullets, acid, high falls, crushing force, sonic weaponry, diamond tip drills, hurricanes, poisons, nice. cynicism, and liquid nitrogen. Don't touch it. You might break it. Oops. It's not held down very securely. Let's get this to Max. Here, Max, hold this. Oh. I met in your hands, but whatever. Now let's get out of here. One moment, please. I'm supposed to frisk everybody when they leave. Just a formality. We understand. Okay, go ahead. Good, good. Now, hello, I think I know this guy from so far. Hey, Small Worlds. It's our favorite cabinet secretary and secret service man, Agent Superball. Yeah. Then it'd be like choosing a favorite child, Sam. 
I love them all. Didn't I see you last week beating the Secretary of Defense over the head with his own war agenda? Granted, it's a tough love. Greetings, newcomers. Blessed be. So let me guess. You're guarding the door to this retreat. Affirmative. I have a passion for it, sir. And Hugh Bliss believed in my door guarding abilities when no one else would. Great story, great story. Okay, let us in. Negative. Only level red prismatologists may enter Hugh Bliss's magical paradise. Magical. What's a level red prismatologist? Because I'm pretty sure I am one. Level red is apex of prismatology, sir. You'd have to undergo spectrum analysis to determine your current level. Spectrum analysis? Is that where you lie perfectly still in a lead coffin while brightly colored cotton swabs are inserted into various orifices? No, sir. We gave that up in 87. It's much simpler now. Uh -huh. Yep, we're level red. Let us in. I'm sure you're mistaken, but we'll run the spectrum analysis anyway. Take this. A unicorn? Uh, what am I supposed to do with this? Rub it, sir. Rub it, Sam. Uh, Harder. Uh, Harder. I'm sorry, sir. The unicorn says you're yellow. No one calls us yeller! Draw, partner! Level yellow is frankly rather pathetic, sir. Only level reds may enter the retreat. Regulations? Hmm. Oh, God. However, Hugh Bliss would like you to keep the unicorn as a token of his love. Rub it often to measure your progress towards true bliss. Oh boy, a pet unicorn! I shall call him horny. You do that. <laughs> oh, Max. Yeah, let's so go. So long, Super Bowl. We have to figure out a way to make the unicorn red so then we can enter in Hugh Bliss's club house, I guess. Where are we headed now, Sam? Back to our Terra Firma. Let's go to Bosco. Oh, no, wait, let's go to the office first. Sam, without that, we can't watch Colonel Mudshank's monkey party tonight. They were gonna vote somebody out of the monkey house. It's for the good of the planet. And besides, you had Colonel Mudshanks exiled for treason, remember? Oh. Hey, Vosk, oh dear God. Didn't I tell you, boys, not what to the fuck? To I just back you. Hey, lady, we're looking oh. for Bosco. You know him? Of course. He's my son. Oh, my God. You're your own mother? Is there no escaping these infernal time travel paradoxes? Hey, guys, it's me, Bosco. Oh. See you later, Bosco's mom. Go clean your office. It's a pigsty. I know that. Oh, my God. Boss Mama Bosco or Bosco Woman is not know one way to get going, huh? Scarier than you bless. Success! His little horn's nice and red. Wow, I can't believe the microwave is a high-level prismatologist. Uh huh. Now, okay, now we can show this to Super Bowl so then he can let us in. Nice. Where are we headed now, Sam? To the moon. To the moon, Alice. Huh.
Okay. Let us in. Have you achieved level red yet? Yes. I'm utterly flabbergasted, sir. I'd suspect a trick, but surely no level red prismatologist would stoop so low. We never stoop. We're posture freaks. Enjoy the retreat, brothers. Yay! Well, this is... Sam! Sam! There he is! It's Hugh Bliss! Oh, God. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh oh, Bliss. Oh. Hugh Bliss. Hi, Hugh Bliss. Oh, so many familiar I friends so here. I so hope you're enjoying my blister of tranquility. You're all making such great progress unlocking the secrets of prismatology. And I couldn't be more delighted. Oh, Neither no. could I. Cool it, Max. You're scaring me more than usual. Me too. I have splendid news. My top secret plan to hypnotize the entire world is nearly complete! <laughs> oh no. Soon, everyone on Earth will become one of us. No! None shall escape. It'll be fabulous. <laughs> oh no. You're a good man. Bravo, bravo! Outstanding! Yeah. Outstanding! You're awesome! <laughs> this guy really knows how to work a room. Keep up the great work, everyone. I'm tickled pink. <laughs> oh, An entire planet of prismatologists. It's like a dream. Or a nightmare. The kind of dream where you wake up screaming with a gun in your hand, your pillow torn to shreds, and the upstairs neighbors calling 911. That's right. The best kind. P.S. Please don't come into my inner sanctum. Thank you. We will. Okay, guys. I'm going to cut this part. See you guys in the next part. Bye.